The overall goal of this procedure is to build up a three-dimensional full-thickness skin equivalent which resembles natural skin and to generate precise and reproducible wounds under sterile conditions using an automated wounding device. This is accomplished by first embedding primary human dermal fibroblasts in a collagen-1 hydrogel. Next, primary human epidermal keratinocytes are seeded on the top of the fibronectin-coated hydrogel. Then, the model is cultured under submerged conditions and then under an air-liquid interface. A three-dimensional full-thickness skin equivalent is formed composed of a dermal component and a multi-layered epidermis. Finally, a standardized wound is generated in a sterile environment. Ultimately, immunohistochemical staining and microscopy is used to assess the histological structure of the wounded full thickness skin equivalent. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like animal models for example, is that the full thickness skin equivalent is composed of primary human cells. So, together with the automated wounding device, we can generate standardized wounds. So, the automated wounding device can provide insight into skin wound healing processes in a humanized environment. It can also be applied to other systems, such as bone tissue engineering. This method can help answer key questions of wound healing, such as biological processes underlying skin repair, and the cellular crosstalk between the epidermal and dermal component. To begin, dissolve